If you are interested in photovoltaics, you may find this short video useful. We'll take a look at how to determine the power output of a solar panel and issues around selecting the best load for your panel. View our video Solar 101 for some background information on solar cells and arrays. I'll assume you're familiar with the electrical quantities voltage, current, and resistance and know that the relationship between these three quantities is defined by Ohm's law. V equals I times R, current times resistance. We will also be using the term watts. The watt is a measure of power, the rate that electrical energy is being produced or consumed at. The wattage of a simple circuit can be determined by multiplying current times voltage. Power equals I times V. I'm using a small 1 watt solar panel for this project. This panel produces a maximum of 1 watt under intense sunlight. The math and science behind this demonstration is the same for large and small panels. So if you attempt this, use a small panel, 1 watt or less. Large solar panels can produce dangerous current and voltage levels. The manufacturer claims this panel will produce 1 watt of power. But there is an issue here. The panel will only produce maximum power when connected to a certain value of resistive load. To determine this value, I have set up the equipment like this. I connected the leads from the solar panel to the outside power lines on a standard breadboard. Next, I connected a 220 ohm, 5 watt power resistor to the same lines. The solar panel is now feeding current to the resistor. If you attempt this, make sure any resistor you use has a power rating that is significantly higher than the output of the panel. Next, I connected a meter across the resistor set to measure voltage. In direct sunlight, we get a reading of 9.06 volts with a 220 ohm resistor. Let's calculate the power output of this system. Using Ohm's law, current equals voltage divided by resistance. That's 9.06 divided by 220. This gives a value of 0.04 amperes. Power in watts is voltage times current. 9.06 times 0 0.04, which equals 0 0.37 watts, only one-third of the rated value of the panel. Apparently we need a different load resistor to capture the full power of this panel. Here is a method for determining the optimum load. I have a variety of power resistors ranging from 5 to 220 ohms. Using the same setup, I substituted these resistors into the system and recorded the voltage drop for each one. Here I have transferred the values to a spreadsheet. This displays the voltage values for each resistor. Next, I calculated current using Ohm's law. These values, in amperes, are in column C. Column D displays the power value, current times voltage. The units are watts. If you look at the power column, it is apparent that the optimum power is captured when the panel is connected to a 68 ohm resistor. Resistive loads with values above and below this do not make full use of the panel's potential. Plotting voltage versus current from this data produces this interesting curve. This abrupt change in direction is called the knee of this voltage current curve, and it is here that the panel produces optimum current and voltage. Substituting the current and voltage values from this point into Ohm's law will also calculate the optimum load resistance. I'll leave you to try that. If you have advanced math skills, you may know that calculating the maximum area of the rectangle you can fit under this curve also identifies the optimum current voltage point. Load balancing is a critical consideration when designing solar arrays. Most solar panels include a spec sheet. This is the spec sheet for the panel I've been working with. 
The manufacturer claims that voltage at maximum power, VMP, is 9 volts, and current at maximum power, IMP, is 0.11 amps. Looking at our data sheet, we calculated VMP to be 8.1 volts and IMP to be 0.12 amps, close to the manufacturer's ratings of 9 and 0.11. The manufacturer's data is based on a standard value for solar radiation of 1,000 watts per square meter. Solar radiation on the day I collected data was below this standard, resulting in slightly different values from the manufacturers. Other entries on this data sheet include VOC and ISC. VOC is voltage open circuit, the voltage reading under full sunlight with no load connected to the panel and ISC is the current produced by the panel when it is short-circuited under full sunlight. This is the data sheet from a large 225 watt panel. As you can see, this data sheet contains the same information as our small panel. Note the electrical hazard warning on this panel. This array is constructed from 225 watt panels. Photovoltaic systems that are designed to charge batteries or feed current onto the grid use dynamic electronic systems to ensure that the optimum power is always being delivered. The array is always working at capacity. For more energy and electronics related videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.